This isn't gonna work well. <laughs> it's fun. Hi guys, I am Cindy Brown and welcome to Supposedly Chic. In today's episode, we will be unboxing our second trunk club shipment from our new stylist. And trust me when I tell you that she did it again, you guys. We received 12 separate pieces in this month's trunk and we have everything from jewelry to shoes to clothing to jackets. So lots to go through today, so let's not delay any further. Uh, guys, first and foremost, if you are new here at Supposedly Chic, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and welcome to the channel. Uh, I ask just three things of all new visitors, that is like, share, and subscribe. Like this episode, share with all of your friends, and please subscribe so you won't miss any new content that comes out of Supposedly Chic. We get a trunk club shipment from Nordstrom's every four weeks. We've been doing it now for, I guess, probably close to six or seven months. We had a stylist malfunction about two months ago, so extreme that we actually had to ask for a new stylist. Our new stylist name is Jasmine. This, what we're doing this month is our second trunk shipment from her. She appears to be so far uh, very receptive very, uh, she listens to what I'm looking for. She sends a lot of uh, sort of great unique pieces. And so very excited for this month's trunk. I can tell you that of the 12 items, the lowest price item is um, $65. And the most expensive item is $198. So if you take sort of that average and multiply it times 12, it's a pretty expensive trunk full of goodies to be sure. You know, there is a good size and bad sides to getting a full trunk from Nordstrom's. The good side is uh, there's a whole lot of stuff to try on and uh, figure out what you like and to choose from. And the bad side is there's a whole lot of good stuff to look through and to choose from. Uh, so we will go ahead and take a look at all of the items in our trunk. The way that we do it here at Supposedly Chic is we will initially talk about every item. I will tell you who makes it, what it costs, uh, kind of what I think out of the box or out of the trunk. And then at the same time, you will see the try-on. So you'll see me trying it on. We will talk about how it fits, how it feels, and just sort of general impressions of uh, actually trying on the, uh, the piece. When we are done with all of that, we will recap all the items, talk about what we really loved, um, talk about the price points, see what makes sense to keep it, add to our wardrobe. Uh, we have a little bit of excitement here at Supposedly Chic Headquarters, which is obviously uh, my home here. My husband and I are uh, moving to a new city and a new home very shortly. So uh, it will be very exciting. We um, will actually, if everything works out the way it's supposed to, have a, uh, a room that is specifically designated as a studio. So expect some changes in the near future. But guys, uh, one of the challenges to sort of getting your home ready to uh, put on the market is you got to pack away a whole bunch of stuff. So luckily for me, I do get a lot of really great clothes from my clothing subscriptions. And it was a little tough to figure out what to actually pack away and what can I get away with? Um, how much do I need to get by for the next month or two until our house sells and we can start unpacking boxes at the new place? So some of these items will, I think, fit that um, fit in that little gap for now. One other cool caveat is a couple of the new houses that we looked at. Guys, they have a walk-in closet. I may actually do some of my unboxings at some point in time from my walk-in closet. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? So lots of things happening here at Supposedly Chic. So I appreciate all of your loyalty and support and... Oh gosh, <clears throat> encouragement. All the great things you guys do every time we put out a video. So why don't we go ahead and start taking a look at what we got in this month's trunk club. All right, so the first piece we're gonna look at is by Eliza J. This is the print knit dress. It is $128. And I really love this print and the cut. Um, I like the fact it's kind of half sleeves. It's sort of a, I guess like a silky nylon material. I like the pattern. I'm just, the only part for me was sort of, if you can look at the pattern, the attention is drawn right here. Um, and then the bottom is kind of a strange, like it has a, a seam right here across 
through here, and then almost like a little bit of a ruffle on the bottom of the dress. I keep looking at the try-ons to decide if this is a dress that I feel comfortable wearing. So would love your input on this. You guys are so great at telling me what uh, sometimes I can't see for myself. We get those sort of self-imposed mental goggles that we put on that, that, that immediately want to say this style won't work. And, and so it's nice to have your feedback to say, Sydney, it works awesome. Uh, there's a lot of items that uh, in my previous trunks or previous shipments that I may have actually sent back if I wouldn't have gotten feedback from you guys. So here's what the back looks like. Again, it's a nice uh, zippered back. And I, I always like the dresses where you can't see the zipper, so that's kind of a nice thing. The same sort of print here, which is kind of right on the rear end side. So let me know what you think of the back of this on the try-on. And so again, this is our Eliza J dress. So let's take a look at this really cool beefy jacket. They call this a faux leather moto jacket. This is by Blank NYC and it is $98, so just shy of 100 bucks. And I was very excited when I unpacked this. It just, it, it's, first of all, it's really soft. And it is faux leather, so it's not heavy and stiff the way that leather can sometimes be. Um, I loved it on me unzipped. Was not a humongous fan of it when it was zipped. And I wonder, I've never, I've never had the perfect leather jacket. The one that, that I just love and can't get enough of. And so I don't know if that is necessarily the leather jacket's fault or if it's just that I'm not a leather jacket girl. Um, it's got a bunch of little zippers. It always, uh, there's zippers on both of the sleeves, which do nothing actually. You unzip it and there's just a little bit of a, hopefully you can see it, just a little bit of a um, separation there. It doesn't really make the, the, that much bigger. It has zippers on each of the sides, like right here. And the same thing right here. And they do actually unzip, but they don't go anywhere. They, they stop at the middle of the back. I don't have any idea what that does. Um, it, it's cool looking, but I, again, I almost think that I have to stop blaming the leather jackets for the, either the fit or how comfortable they are. I just think, although I like zip, I just don't know if leather jackets are my thing. But this one's not a bad price one. Again, it is fake leather, so it's not real leather. Um, $98, and again, this is by Blank NYC. We got a lot of great variety of tops this month's trunk. Some of them um, I loved, and some of them I, I wasn't quite a big fan of. This one is a tiered sleeveless top by Trouvé in red. It is $69, and the cut is really unique and really flattering. Uh, it, it cuts down at an angle, and then the same thing across the back. It has the keyhole button, and it's nice. What I like about this is it's sort of smooth. It lays flat. So as it gets cooler outside, I definitely can pair it with um, a jacket, uh, a blazer, that type of thing, maybe even a cardigan. The color, they call it red, but guys, I hope you can see it effectively in the camera. It's a, like a fuchsia color, and it is just phenomenal. Totally my color. It's a poppin' top for sure. And again, this is the Trouvé top, and the price point, again, is not bad as well. It is $69. Our next top is by CC. They call this the Embellished Collar Pointel Detail Sweater, and it's $99. And I guess it is a sweater. Um, it's not a really heavy knit sweater. I like the embellishment on the top. I'm just, uh, it makes me feel almost like a, a polo shirt, like a preppy kind of a top. The color's nice. It's it's a really dark burgundy, almost like it almost has shades of sort of like a brown in it, um, and and I think that it sort of it has some embellishment print right here with a couple dots, and then a little bit here, and then the rest of it is straight. I just don't know that it is my style. Uh, I liked it a lot. It's the collar's kind of high. The sleeves are cool. It's nice to have a sweater that's not necessarily long sleeves. But we'll see on this one. Uh, let me know what you think, how it looked paired. I think I paired it with jeans. Um, but again, this is the CC embellished collar blouse for $99. Is this so pretty and lacy and feminine? Uh, I'm, I'm digging this guy for sure. This is the Chelsea 28 lace inset blouse in pink. It is $69 and it is for me the sort of the essence of femininity. It's just, it's, it's beautiful and silky and lacy. And it's a nice, it's, it's not a white or a cream, guys. It's like a pale pink. Uh, and it's really, really flattering. 
It has hidden buttons all the way down the shirt. So I'm assuming that means you could unbutton it either in the top or the bottom if you wanted to. Uh, it's interesting because they're hidden buttons, so it's not like you see them. But again, I'm gonna tell you one pitfall of these hidden buttons is trying to put it on behind you and fasten that top button is almost impossible. What I found though is that the neckline is big enough that I actually don't need to unbutton. I can just pull it straight over my head. So that's a help because I had to get my husband involved to help me button up that guy. And I thought, because he's not here with me every morning, he usually goes to work earlier than I do. So I would not be able to make this work for a work shirt. But again, like I said, the collar is wide enough that you can pull it over your head. So perhaps those are more for show than anything. But I really like the lace detail on the side of the arms. I like that the lace is exactly the same color. It's not a, a darker pink or a white or anything. It just, it's just a very smooth look. And it, I like, again, I like how it flows. It's got, um, it's about the same length in the back as it is in the front. And again, this is the Chelsea 28 lace inset blouse in pink. So our last top is from Vince Camuto. And I really think for me, Vince Camuto is either a hit or a miss. Um, this is the Ditsy, D-I-T-S-Y, so Ditsy Manor Tiered Ruffle Blouse in white. It is $89. Here's a couple drawbacks to this blouse. As you see, I had to wear a camisole underneath it because, woo, it is very sheer. Uh, it also is a little short, and it has this rather, two rather strange sort of tiered ruffles in kind of awkward spots. Um, it just didn't do a whole lot for me. The sleeves I didn't mind. I kind of thought it'd be kind of a cool, like, I don't know, sort of bohemian top to go with some maybe um, frayed hem jeans and some kind of maybe clunky boots. But I just wasn't feeling it. Um, and pair that with the fact that this blouse is not cheap. Uh, Vince Camuto doesn't make very much uh, stuff that's inexpensive. This was $89. And for the fit and the style, it just wasn't going to work for me and my wardrobe. But this again is the Ditsy Manor Tiered Ruffle Blouse from Vince Camuto. Now this month, Vince Camuto may have lost me with his blouse, but he is luring me in with his tote bag, guys. This is the Fran. Reversible Leather Tote by Vince Camuto. It is $198. And I'm gonna tell you, I spent about an hour searching for cheetah totes online because I wanted anything that would be close to this that wasn't $200. And guys, I couldn't find one. None of them had this print. I, I love the sort of dark detail down the center. It's actually just a change in the print but for me, it, it add, definitely adds something. You know, Vince Camuto has all the details here with sort of the gold on both sides. Again, let's talk about what I like and don't like in purses. I really like a front pocket or an outside pocket, which this doesn't have. Um, it has one pocket inside of here that's deep enough to put your phone in. Um, of course, they always give you a nice little bag to wrap it in. Um, and then there's this cute little design here, the Vince Camuto emblem with the gold. I love the size. I really love the pattern. I was so hoping to find some type of knockoff on this. You can see it's actually the cheetah print all the way around. And I couldn't find that with any of the bags that I looked at. Some of them would have black right here. Some of them just had the print here and it was black all the way around. So I am a sucker for bags and you guys know it. I just envision wearing head to toe black, right? A black dolman type top, some like black sort of moto leggings and some boots and throwing this on guys, that would just make the look. So if I didn't like anything else at all in this trunk, maybe I could justify keeping this little guy. It is big enough to put a purse organizer in though, that's for sure, so I could organize some of the stuff in here because you guys know I love organization of my bags and when there's a bag that doesn't have a lot of organization. So then I think to myself, it's also big enough to hold a laptop. What if, and, and if you guys ever look at like, um, 
I can't even think of the brands now, but there's a bunch of like laptop bag brands that are by no stretch of the imagination cheap. And this guy is leather. I think I mentioned it's a leather tote. It smells rather leather leatherish. But so what if I took this guy and I threw my laptop, my notebook, and my purse stuff in here? Would that then justify the cost and the size? Because I really like it a lot. I love this pattern, guys. I, you know, I love animal print anything. Um, tell me what you think. I think we may be able to figure out how to make it work. All right, so Vince Camuto, leather tote. It says it's reversible. I don't see how because there's, oh my goodness, the pocket on the inside would become the pocket on the outside if we reversed it. Oh, I should not have discovered that for myself. All right, so here's, I'm not going to flip it, but here's what it looks like on the inside. You would have a black tote with a cheetah interior and an outside pocket. What? I'm starting to love this more and more. So, okay, I'm going to stop talking now. This is the Vince Camuto Leather Reversible Tote for $198. And of course, without fail, our trusty dusty jeans always have to be included in our boxes. These jeans are by Mother. They are Last Call Wash. They are Stunner High Waist Fray Ankle Skinny Jeans. And they are $171. Let me start by saying I love the wash. It's almost a blue gray, um, which is unique. You know, a lot of times the, I, I like darker jeans usually more than I like lighter jeans. And these are a very unique wash. They're not a really dark blue. That being said, the price point just scares the heck out of me, guys. $171 for jeans. They fit awesome. They've got that little bit of um, variation in the front. They have a little bit of uh, embellishment on the back pockets, which you know I'm not a huge fan of, but they are very, it's very minute and it's sort of the M for mother, I guess. So are these the new mom jeans? I don't know. The bottoms are a rather aggressive frayed hem jean. You can see that they are actually cut at almost a bias. Um, so that's what the cut looks like in the front. It sort of cuts in and it's a little bit longer in the back. So obviously these are not a pair of jeans that I could wear for work. Okay, so they would definitely be a hanging out, going out type of jeans. And guys, I love jeans and I love unique jeans, but $171 for a pair of jeans is pretty extreme, even in my book. So these are the Mother Stunner High Waist ankle, Fray Ankle Skinny Jeans for $171. So like I mentioned, in this month's trunk, we got jewelry, not one piece, but two pieces. We got a necklace and we got a pair of earrings that actually match. They are both from Kendra Scott. They are both $65. And let's talk about the necklace first. Uh, they call these the Tessa, oh, the, I'm sorry, they actually, it's funny, they look the same, but they actually call them two different things. The necklace is called the Elisa Pendant Necklace. They call it Rose Druzy slash Rose Gold. It's sort of a rose gold cluster. And I guess I thought in the pictures when I, when I previewed my trunk that it was going to be bigger. Um, it is really pretty and elegant. Um, I, the necklace, I'm wondering if I got it in a different tone because they did have like silver and kind of an opaly stone. They had a, like four or five different versions. Um, it has a really nice clasp on it. Um, it does have a couple different holes for you to be able to, to change the size as you would like to. Um, but it, it's pretty small and dainty. And again, each one of these pieces, the necklace and the earrings were $65. And for costume jewelry, because there's no real anything else, they're not real gold, they're not real stones. Um, not certain that it's something that I would want to hold on to, but again, this is the Kendra Scott Elisa necklace, and now we're gonna look at the earrings. So I'm gonna hold them up side by side briefly so you can see that while they are not exact, they are similar. So if you wore the earrings and the necklace together, it would make a nice pairing. But the earring shape is almost more of like a diamond shape, whereas the necklace is more of an oval. So that didn't really appeal to me. The stones on the inside on the necklace, they're a little more white crystally, and on the earrings, they're a little more sort of yellow goldish, almost like a peridot. 
So while I liked both of these, um, I'm not certain again for non-gold, non-precious stones jewelry, would I want to pay $120, no, $130 for this pair. So but again, these are from Kendra Scott, the Elisa necklace and the Tessa stone stud earrings. Can you believe that all this time has passed and we're still going through items in this trunk? We are almost done. We have two pairs of shoes to go through. The first ones we're going to talk about are the mules, and these are the Eden Mule by Bella Vita. They are in black. They are $114.95. And I will tell you, first and foremost, they were really comfortable. Um, I could wear these babies probably all day long. The problem is for me is they're not very attractive, I don't think. They're not my look what I'm looking for. I tried them with a, I think I tried them on with the jeans, but I did try them with a couple different types of pants. What I have left in my closet um, for my two month move wardrobe. Um, I tried them on with a, a little bit of a shorter, shorter length uh, black uh, knit slacks. I tried them on with leggings. They probably look the best with the leggings and the jeans, but they're, they're just, they're, they call them mules, but guys, I kind of think they look more like clogs. And that's not quite the look I'm going for. And again, at $114.95, that's not going to be a huge blow to what we're looking at here. But these are the Bella Vita Eden Mules. But guys, these booties. <laughs> oh, these are the Rosalie Booty by Jeffrey Campbell and Taupe Suede. Guys, they're $164.95, but I dug them. I dug everything about them. I love the color. I love the heel. I, uh, interesting though, I almost think it's one of those fate things. I wear a size nine with all of this size shifting that we've been going through these last couple months that you have all heard about. My foot size has not changed, right? Girlfriend sent me a 10. Why? They are, they are falling off of me. And that's probably a good thing because 165 bucks for these shoes is a lot. But gall darn it, look at the pattern on those. They are phenomenal. They've got the side um, cut on both sides that I, we talked about in previous trunks where my, um, I have a high arch, so if there's not that, it, especially a boot this angle like this, I can't get my foot in it. I, these go with everything, guys. They went with white, they went with black, they went with jeans, they went with skirts, they went with, you name it. If you could put it on, they went with it. They went with the dress we got. Um, today in this trunk. So I think it was a blessing that the wrong size was sent because guys, think about it. This plus that tote, that's $365 for two pieces. I can't be doing that every month. Uh, until I win the lottery, then I'm buying out Nordstrom's done. So again, these are Jeffrey Campbell. These are the Rosalie booties for $164.95. So guys, I usually say that this is the fun part because this is where we like figure out what we like, what we love and see how everything costs. But I like and love way too doggone many dollars worth of stuff in this trunk. So I am at a loss for what to do. Um, but I am gonna pause right now. All right guys, so I have done a lot of thinking and a lot of calculating on what our best options are for our trunk club this month. And there's one little caveat that I did forget. If you guys uh, do trunk club, if you're interested in doing trunk club, let me know because I'll put a link down below that will get you um, a little bit of a perk when you do your first uh, trunk club shipment. And if you have a Nordstrom's credit card and you do the trunk club, you get what they call Nordstrom's notes, which are kind of like fancy Kohl's cash. If you guys are Kohl's shoppers like I am, you know what Kohl's cash are. Um, so I believe that I have 80 or $90 in Nordstrom's notes. So that helped me a little bit. That may be, if I can find those booties, the uh, Jeffrey Campbell booties in my size in the local Nordstrom store, I might use my notes for that. But for now, those guys are going back. What we are keeping this month is the pink Trouvé blouse, the also pink but much paler pink uh, Chelsea 28 lace inset blouse. And guys, we are sucking it in and keeping the Vince Camuto reversible tote. 
Um, everything else, I either wasn't a big fan of how it fit or there was just stuff. I keep going back to that dress, but again, the dress I think was 190, the dress was $128. And gosh, guys, for me, that just pushes the boundaries of what I'm willing to pay. Um, each of these tops were 69. And while that might be a little bit pricey, the versatility that I can do with these, I think makes it worthwhile. Um, they're both tops that I can wear for work at any given day and, and feel very well put together, um, very tailored. Um, and again, the, I think the, the styles are unique. They're, this is not just a regular, um, you know, under a blazer tank. It's, it's got, first of all, it's a nice pop of color and it's got a really nice cut on it. The same can be said for the lace inlet blouse. Um, obviously I would just wear this without any other kind of jacket over because that would hide the beautiful lace sleeves. Um, but again, I just think they're, they're perfect for what I need them for, for a work wardrobe. And that Vince Camuto tote, like I said, I spent so much time online trying to find anything that would kind of come close. And, and you know, that's one of the, the cool things about Vince Camuto is he does have a unique flair and a unique style. And I have a, I believe every bag I own is a plain solid color. So to have this pop of color kind of go with some of my outfits, um, <clears throat> guys look just, imagine this top with that tote and some black pants and some black heels. What a nice way to put that together, right? So that is what we're looking at keeping this month in our trunk club. Uh, hard, hard, hard to pick just three items out of the 12 for sure. There were a couple, um, a couple items that I wasn't a fan of the fit. Uh, the Vince Camuto top, the black mules definitely were kind of easy to pick out. The moto jacket, I'm going to hold tight and see if I can find one that I just like all of the features. Like, again, like I said, um, I just didn't really like how it looked when it was zipped up. And so what good is a jacket that you're going to leave unzipped all the time? So there were a couple items they were easy to pick and choose. The dress was tough for me, but I think ultimately the price point made the decision for me. And uh, so tell me what you think. Tell me if you agree with my choices. Um, I, I actually think I'm gonna wear this blouse tomorrow. It's still, uh, fall in California is always tough and it probably is tough for all of you guys, but it starts out like 54 degrees at seven o'clock in the morning. And by the time we get to two or three o'clock, it's 85, 87. So that's like a, what, a 40 degree shift? So for us here, fall in California is all about layering. So start this guy with a, a jacket and some nice pants and then as the afternoon goes on, take the jacket off and then as it gets a little cooler, put the jacket back on. That's kind of what my plan is. Um, the jewelry was nice, but again, for costume jewelry, I think the price point was a little extreme. So not gonna go with the jewelry. And um, then there was that embellished embroidered top that I just didn't feel was my style enough to get any kind of good use out of it. So guys, that's what we do here at Supposedly Chic. We unbox clothes, we talk fashion, we talk styles, and uh, we just have fun doing it together. So every single Friday morning at 9 a.m., you will see some type of unboxing here at Supposedly Chic. We do clothing unboxings like you just saw. We do Trunk Club, we do Stitch Fix, we do Nadine West, and we do Wannable every other month. Uh, there are times we do food unboxings. We do HelloFresh, Home Chef, and Tara's Kitchen. And from time to time, we do the quarterly boxes that you guys see all over Facebook, FabFitFun, and CauseBox. So make sure you tune in every Friday because you don't want to miss it. We also do a live show every Sunday night. That When I say we, that's me and my husband, Steve. We get our communities together. He has his own two YouTube channels. I have two YouTube channels. We come on Sunday nights, 6 p.m. Pacific time, live on this channel. So all you gotta do is show up at six o'clock and be part of the fun. I uh, hope to see you there again every Sunday night, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, if you are new here at Supposedly Chic, I ask you to do me just one favor, that is just crush that subscribe button down below me. And since you are new, I'm gonna throw a couple of videos up right here. It's gonna kind of show you what we do, what we're about. And guys, until next time, thank you again so much for your support and your encouragement. This is Sydney Brown at Supposedly Chic, and make it a good one.